Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this three minute tip, I'm gonna show you four stats you can add to your Google Ads columns so you can determine where your ad is showing in the Google search results. So if you're wondering where your ad is showing up, you're probably wondering if you're showing at the absolute top in the number one position, or maybe in just the top section of ads where a few ads are often shown or you could be at the bottom. As you see in this results page, there are two ads at the bottom. And this is especially important now because they did recently get rid of the average position stat, which for example, might give you a number like average position equals 2.4, which would tell you you're averaging between the second and third spot. So I'm not sure exactly why they got rid of average position, but I think it could be a little bit misleading and there are better metrics to look at. I'm gonna show you four of those that I use now that average position is gone. So the four stats you can use now, and these are columns you'll have to add, is uh, search top impression share, search absolute top impression share, which is the number one position or absolute top, and then impression top percentage and impression absolute top percentage. So these columns are not present by default, so you probably will need to add them by going into Columns, Modify Columns. Two of them will be found under Competitive Metrics, and that is Search Top and Search Absolute Top Impression Share. The other two are found under Performance. So let me explain really quickly what these four metrics tell you. So Impression Share, or IS, is the number of impressions or displays of your ad that you're receiving out of the number of times you're eligible to show in your location and schedule that you've set. So in this campaign, out of all the times that this ad is eligible to show, it's showing about 58% of the time at the top. So that's what search top impression share means. And again, top is just above the organic search results. So above the organic results just means that it's in the ad section at the top. There could be a few ads showing here above the organic search results. And then absolute top means the number one position. So this metric tells us out of all the times this ad is eligible to show, here's the percentage of times it's showing at the top or number one spot. So in this case, it's 57% of the time. So those two metrics are useful, but again, they're out of all the times you're eligible to show. The next two metrics are also helpful in a different way because they tell us out of all the impressions we're receiving, so all the times our ad is displaying, here's the percentage that it's showing at the top or the absolute top or number one position. So for this first campaign, out of all the times this campaign is getting impressions, it's showing at the top about 98% of the time. And then it's showing at the absolute top or number one position about 97% of the time. And you can see how that's useful if we look at this other campaign down here. It's showing at the top only about 60% of the time out of all of our impressions. And then it's showing at the top, very top or absolute top, uh, only 32% of the time. So you can use these four data points to understand where your ad is showing and make changes to your campaign settings, maybe your bid or budget to show at the top more or less often depending on what your goals are. If you want to learn more about impression share in general, I'll link to another video I did on that topic and we'll see you there.